Hey, so I've made a lot of guitar videos. I think a lot, probably a hundred, um, in various places. And, um, lately I've been trying to get just a little bit better with each one. So now I'm working on sound, but like a vocal sound. Um, I've always been able to like mic the amp and get something decent. Um, but now I want the vocal sound to also be good. And I've tried a few things. I've done the clip-on uh, lapel mic, v various levels of um, success, because I want it to go through my audio interface so that I can control the levels and EQ it and do all kinds of stuff. So now I'm trying this, and we're going to see how it works. And I know a lot of guitar players, when they make videos, don't have these in the shot, but I'm okay with that, because um, I can kind of swing it out of the way if I'm doing guitar stuff. And then lean in um, if I want to explain some things. So the next thing I had to figure out was what to make a video about just as like a proof of concept that this works well. Um, so I thought I would do a pentatonic box video, like how to break out of the pentatonic box. Like everybody wants to know that. So that's what I'm going to do today. I am going to explain how to break out of the typical pentatonic box and still play things that are melodic and wonderful. Um, and I have a loop down here. Oh, my, my audio setup, if you care, is the mic through there. And I have a Supro Delta King 10 um, direct into the audio interface too because I only have one microphone. Uh, but I was able to figure that out. So that's good. And... Uh, trending in the right direction. So that's the audio chain, I guess. Um, and I have a, a looper pedal down here to um, to play just a C, a G to C loop, just to show you the concepts, demonstrate the concepts that I'm going to show you. Okay, we're going to do it in key of G. So. Um, the first thing about pentatonics that I think will help you break out is 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 not focusing on shapes, but the notes. So it's going to be the one, two, three, five, six, and root. So in G, that's G, A, B, uh, D, E, and back to G. So wherever you are, regardless if it's minor pentatonic, uh, relative minor pentatonic, or major pentatonic, those five notes. So you can do this shape. This would be the major, right? So one. And then repeat it. Oops, <laughs> did that wrong. See, uh, you'll also, once you break out of that box, you'll hear when things don't sound right immediately. Okay. Then the uh, you can do the same thing with the relative minor, which means this is kind of below the G. So instead of this G here, use this G up here. And then that's your six, right? Six, one, three. Same notes, different position. That's all out of that pentatonic. But it has a, it just has a different tonal center, right? E instead of G. the wrong note again okay so that's below this is right at the tonic you can do the same thing here the other part is to slide up the neck with your pentatonics 
So if you have one, two, three, now you got, what was your other two? Two, three, now you can start over. One, two, three. Right, so then you then you can combine the dyads and triads. And then you can connect them. So now instead of or you have them both with fillers in between. And that's really it. And as you go up the neck, it's the same thing. So if you're on this G, sorry. One, two, three, five, six, one. Okay. The last thing that I can think of as a great way to break out the pentatonic box is to add the four or the seven, um, selectively, creatively, at certain times, but typically passing tones, because if you hang on one of those, it's dissonant and it's not going to sound right. So you can... So I'll demonstrate that. That's the four. That's the seven. It already doesn't sound right, right? That's the last stage of that. So I will play this loop. Um, G to C, and I'll play through the pentatonics to kind of show you what I mean. Um, highlighting chords playing that pen pentatonic scale, selectively adding the fourth and the seventh uh, when I think they fit well. Here we go. played this A minor down here. We can do the same thing up here all the way up because it's relative so it fits even though it's not necessarily the key of G. While being aware that this is the G so this is the root and this is that's the second chord that's the C all part of that minor. Microphone kind of messes me up a little bit. And then the stage we talked about, about adding notes. If you're in the minor key, you can add the minor notes, right? So you can add this second, which is the seventh. And that would be the fourth. Boy, I hit a bunch of wrong notes in there. And that's why you got to be careful with those because sometimes they just don't fit. So 
So that's how you break out a pentatonic box, and you can play from one end of the neck all the way up to the other. Um, but I hope I hope this sounded better. That's really my goal. I just want to see if it sounds better, and I hope it was educational. Um, hope you learned something from it. Uh, if you think the sound was okay, I would like to know. So if you were, if you could just tell me, that would be cool. Um, if you're if you didn't like it. And you're like, it needs to be better. I'd like to know that, too. I would like to get the sound just right. And then I'll work on lighting up my face. That's it.